Hey, this is Tim Ripper Owens, and I compel you to subscribe to Border City Rock Talk. Let's rock. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Border City Rock Talk. You get great news, great interviews, great interviewees, and sometimes a comedic touch. Before I get on to my legendary guest, Tim Ripper Owens, uh, please hit the subscribe button and uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss his great interviews coming up, which, following this interview with this legend, I've got a legendary guitarist, Yuli John Roth, from the Scorpions coming up next week, and I also have on deck, and in the hot tub, Tommy Ray Brown, the late widow the widow of the late James Brown coming up. Wow, it's going to be a great week coming up. So without further ado, I bring to you Tim Ripper Owens. How are you doing, Tim? Good, buddy. How are you? I'm not too bad. I'm not too sure if you remember when I interviewed you last, because I'm sure you've been interviewed by hundreds, at least hundreds. Let me just turn my thing here. Um, I interviewed you when you were with um, A New Revenge. You're doing that. Okay, and yeah, yeah, sure. You're in your car. Do you remember that? You're yeah. Picking your kids well, up in school? I do remember that. I was picking my kids up, and I was actually going to do this one for my car, too. But for some reason, it was it was trying to connect to my Uconnect thing, and it wasn't doing it right. So I figured I'd come back in the house. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Um, always a pleasure. So um, before we get started, um, a lot of people are going to come to this interview. Obviously, they're fans of you uh, being in Judas Priest, uh, Jugulator, and Demolition. Um, they're going to want to know, um, and I've, I've read uh, recently that – the new KK's Priest uh, album that you're singing on is, is you, it says imminent. It's going to release imminent. So how far along? Is, what does imminent mean? Does it mean that it's in the um, mixing process or? It, I have a I have a uh, one more song I think to finish, and um, but they're mixing it and, and you know doing it as as I finish these songs. So it's it, you know it's going to be fairly fairly close. I mean it's really moving along really good and. And uh, it's really good too. I like it better. It's a little, a little, uh, a little heavier, a little edgier on the on the uh, vocals, right. and even music. I think so. I think uh, it's it's he wants to get it out, you know, pretty soon because I know we want to do some touring. So I know he wants to get it out. Right on, right on. Um, and then you've got a new EP that's coming out as well. I do. You know, it's it's on pre order now. Uh, Martyr dot net is where they can order it and there's all kinds of things vinyl cds cassettes bundle you know shirts hats uh there's a lot of bundles but it the the street date the official release date is december 9th so this i think that's this friday i think um so but it's a lot of people have gotten all the special ones where i've autographed them they've ordered the autographed versions and a lot of those have went out i know vinyl is not out probably delivered yet because you know vinyls takes a long time to get now if you order vinyls man they are these places take forever yeah for sure um so you know everybody that I, i'm i'm sure all of my uh, viewers coming to this uh interview are going to know of you but you you sang with ingvay malmsteen for ingvay um iced earth a new revenge i mean the list goes on and on and and judas priest um i found something funny or original um this weekend you're just uh on sunday i believe it you're at a certain restaurant uh can you tell us what that was all about yes saturday saturday uh, nico I, i've done it one other time nico all the other times i was on the road but nico mcbrain's restaurant in florida uh rock and roll ribs was having an anniversary so he tries to put on a, a big show all day outdoors it's a free thing and and uh you know he gave me a shout said hey you want to come back out and sing some songs and hang out and uh it's it's a great time. Carmine Peace was there and yeah. and um, a lot of bands. And, you know, we in the night just jamming. I sang a couple of Maiden tunes and a couple of Priest tunes. And, you know, it's a lot of fun. You know, Nico's a great guy. Um, and, you know, if he if he calls and asks if I can do it and if I can, I, I'll do it for sure. You know, we had a, we had a really good time. And, you know, we had an autograph signing line afterwards, uh, you know, that that was free. And it was it, I think it took three hours to get through. It was crazy, you know, but it was a really good time. Well, I can imagine. I mean, so how are the ribs? His restaurant's great. The ribs are fantastic. You know, I've I waited till I, I got there Thursday to hang out a couple extra days. And uh, uh, Sunday, I finally went and, and met some friends. My buddy, I grew up with Tom and we went and had some some ribs there. Yeah, it's great. Great ribs. I, they're some of the best for sure. Awesome. Um, so. With uh, the EP being released, um, they can get it um, on your website, Tim Owens, uh, TimRipperOwens.com, correct? Yeah, you know, when it comes out December 9th, they'll be able to find it everywhere. 
Um, you know, but it's going to be, you know, you can get all the links there. Like I said, martyr.net is, is where they'll take you to the store. Um, and they'll be able to get it everywhere. And it's a great, it's heavy. You know, Jamie Josta produced it. He did D Snyder's last two and D yes. Snyder's last two were, were so good. And Jamie at, said about 10 years ago, he's like, man, Ripper, let's, let's do a record. And, uh, you know, let's feed off of that jugulator vibe and do something heavier. Cause I want to, you know, your head, when you sing heavy and, as well and you get heavier music i absolutely love it so this is a heavy heavy ep there's six songs and we're actually <coughs> getting ready to record a um a full-length record too so we're gonna do 10 new songs it's gonna come out this summer right but it's heavy stuff it's heavier uh you know there's three songs you know uh die, die while you're alive and um you know the title track return to death row which is obviously uh a play on death row from, from Judas Priest. There's even a little section there that's a throwback from the, you know, when the phone rings and they uh, answer the phone, you know, that's kind of a play on that, you know? So uh, it's a great record. I, it's, it's, it's really, really good, you know, and the, the fans who love the jugulator and the pre stuff and love beyond fear and, yep. and my heavier stuff, they're going to love it. Well, um, you bring up a good point. Jamie Jass is um, obviously he's a great musician, like, you know, top notch, but whenever I'm reading about him, it's his abilities and um, um, to, to produce these great records. It must've been just super working with him. But obviously he did a great album with Dee Snyder. It's, it's great. And we, it was easy. Um, you know, the thing is he knows that vocally, if he throws anything at me, I'm going to sing it, whether it's death metal, power metal, progressive metal, uh, classic metal, you know, hair, metal. I'll sing anything, you know, right. um, so it was really easy to work. And we've been friends for a long time and he's great. I would, he would send me the ideas and songs and I would work on them and I would send them back to him in hours. You know, I'd be like, here you go. And he would always laugh. Cause it's like, Jesus, this is, I've never had anybody send me back stuff so fast. And uh, just because it was, it was great material to work over, you know? Right. And um, you know, it's, uh, it's nice when you, when something like that comes together. Yeah. Um, I also understand that uh, Wendy Dio the late Ronnie uh, James Dio's uh, wife um, was your manager at, at one point. Yeah, she managed me for years. And if I need something really big now, uh, a contract looked at or some information, I'll still talk to her because we're really good friends. But yeah, Ronnie talked her into it because she didn't, uh, she really didn't want to at the time. Uh, she didn't want to manage anybody. And then Ronnie's like, no, you got to manage, you got to manage Tim. You got to manage him because he's, he's, a, you know, one of the best singers out there and the, a great guy and you got i think it's a good one so yeah sure. we did it and i think eventually it just changed because um a lot of stuff i can handle myself now nowadays it's a little bit different you know i probably will go back to having a manager again but with social media and everything you know like you getting a hold of me usually i would pass that on to, to the, my publicist or something but i was just like oh screw it i'll just you and i'll just do this but right. um it's really uh, it's easy to do it that way, but yeah, she's uh, such a, a fantastic lady, and and uh, she's she's done a lot for me and still does. She's awesome, professional for sure. Um, did you see the Dio? I, you must have seen the Dio documentary. I haven't. You know, I was supposed oh. to go to the Dio uh, documentary. I had a couple tickets to go there, and uh, my girlfriend at the time decided she didn't want to go, and we had some things happen. So I was like, well, then I'm I'm not going there, and. Uh, and things came up and then um the day it was released to watch i was on the road to australia wow. i think or, or spain at that time spain or australia i can't remember which place i was going to but uh so i haven't seen it yet so i know it's out now and uh, i'll have to go see it yeah i interviewed have damian, to get showtime too. i interviewed damian fenton the producer or um director i keep getting those mixed up but no i saw it it was just amazing so i mean uh I don't get paid for this, so I'm genuine saying you got to see this, uh, Tim. <laughs> yeah, I heard it was fantastic. I did hear that people wish that his, a lot of his, uh, you know, Simon Wright and people like that wasn't really in it much in, or at all, and it's a shame because Simon Viv. was his roommate. Yeah, well, Viv, we understand. I mean, yeah. they didn't like each other. So, I mean, you know, but Simon and him were roommates. So I wish there was more of the, of instead of just throwing in, 
people that you just threw in to, to interview you yeah. should have thrown in more of his friends it sounds like but i heard it's just fantastic yeah no it was really good i mean i think um uh, seb was in there and um you know it was just uh they had a lot of good cameos from um good friends of uh, ronnie and, and wendy so yeah um i will keep you long i know you're a busy man i really appreciate you taking out the time um i'll put in the description box below um any tour dates um that i see on your website i'll put your website down there as well um yeah, oh. right. Right now, I don't. I, I'm going to be taking some time off to do some recording, finish up the KK stuff, and I got some other stuff to do. But also, you know, people can get a cameo from me for the holidays. So just go to cameo, find some reference. But you know, put all my social media links on there. Yeah, uh, Facebook, the Tim McBrone's official, and and Instagram, Tim McBrone's yeah. official, Twitter, Snapchat, all that stuff. Look all that stuff up, and and people can get a hold of me if they you know if you, if any, listen now that i have time a little time off i'm doing some extra recording for people's records again yeah. uh, ripper vocals at gmail.com sure. that's ripper vocals at gmail.com if you want me to guest on the record and do it because sometimes i like to take time off the road and and uh and you know i mean I'm, i do music for a living so i'm i have yeah, stay nice and busy cake the, the solo ep is out now um the um KK's Priest is just about done, and, and uh, after it's done, hopefully we'll be hitting the road next year. Right on. So one last thing. Um, what is the opposite of unsubscribe? The opposite of unsubscribe? Yeah. Subscribe, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. man. Uh, everybody you want do... people to subscribe to your channel. Is that what you're trying to push? That's what I'm pushing, man. Well, that's <laughs> what you should push. Okay. So absolutely. Do... Everybody watching, what you know, do as Tim Ripper Owen says and subscribe to the channel uh, for great interviews, great interviews, sometimes a comedic touch. And uh, yeah, man, once again, I'd like to thank you. I know you're a busy man and uh, look forward to chatting with you again in the future. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Subscribe, everybody. Right on, Tim. Thanks a lot. Thanks, buddy.